Yo, what's up guys? This is Seth from God Bust the Pinstripes. Just wanted to make this quick video because it's becoming more and more apparent by the day that the Yankees are in fact going to be over the luxury tax line. At this point, it's just a matter of which line we're at. If it's going to be 226 or the, the next one above that. Um, going into the offseason, it seems like much of the Yankees community thought that there was no chance that the Yankees were going over 206. I remember very strongly hearing people like Michael Kay and others on the Yes Network feeling convinced that Hal Steinbrenner was not going to go over 206 and listened blindly like most of the sheep on Yankees Twitter listening to, oh, we don't need to go over 206 to win. Yeah, that's true, but as I said, and you could find more tweets like this, to, this, aside from the ones that I'm posting in this video, that Hal has proven that he will go over the luxury tax even when he says he won't if the talent is there, which is the same reason why, despite everyone saying that there's no room for Machado, there's no room for Harper, I find it very hard to believe that a team that emphasizes ground balls would not have interest in a gold glove third baseman, especially when our gold glove shortstop is out. And we have a second baseman right now. If on opening day, I don't see how Torres is not the second baseman unless Tulowitzki gets hurt. And our first base is just an absolute mess defensively. I don't see how they would not have interest in the 26 year old Machado purely for his defense alone, despite the fact that he's a 280 hitter who can hit to the opposite field and does not strike out. And Harper is even more puzzling to me that we have not made a significant offer yet, especially considering where his market is at right now. Um, we have Brett Gardner in left field, who is going to be a free agent at the end of next season. In addition to the fact that last season he was benched mid-year for a halfway washed up Andrew McCutcheon, and Aaron Hicks is a free agent after next year. Who knows if he's going to be on the team Clint Frazier is an absolute unknown at this point, and Jacoby Ellsbury, nothing needed to say there. So there's no reason to not make an offer for Harper, in addition to the fact that, as I've been saying all offseason, um, we really desperately need a lefty in this lineup. Not for the fact of balance and everything else. It just If you look at the way that the Yankees tried to position their lineup last year, you'll see that Half the games, they wanted desperately Bird to be between Judge and Stanton, Hicks to be between Judge and Stanton, Didi to be between Judge and Stanton. The issue with this approach is that neither of those guys, none of those three guys, are actually good enough to justify sliding Stanton down to fourth. Harper is that guy, which means one of these two guys, as I said, the Yankees are going over 206, which has become proven already, and one of Harper or Machado or both will be Yankees by the start of the season. As I said in my tweets, bookmark this tweet. Come back to it. Thanks, guys.